when I decided to go into the real estate business, it was honestly just as a suggestion of Ray. He said, you'd be great at real estate sales, and I believed him. He was nine years older than me. He was a man of the world, and I figured he was a lot smarter than me. And so I jumped into that business. I had already had 22 jobs, and I had been fired from, from three of them, which sounds bad. But if you think about it, all the rest I wasn't fired from, and I liked every one of them. Every, one of them. That's New Jersey coming out. Forgive me. <laughs> I had 22 jobs, and I liked every one of them. And I didn't fail at most of them, and I was willing to try anything. I mean, what did I have to lose? You know what advantage I had? I had the advantage of coming from a background where I had nothing to lose and nowhere to go but up. Do you know how easy it is to try things when you don't have to watch the money your parents gave you or protect your reputation or think other people are watching? Nobody was watching me. I was free to fail as often as I wanted. And so for me, it was just one more job. Hey, why not? I'll give it a whirl. I, I was 23 when I started the real estate broker company with Ramon Simone as my partner. I was working since the time I was 11, as every kid in my family was. You know, when you have 10 mouths to feed and a dad working like crazy and a mom at home, everybody pitches in. And you know what's great about that? You learn a work ethic. So really, my MBA was a result of being raised under my mom's wing. She was the most efficient, most organized person I'd ever meet, and she was also a phenomenal motivator. Do you know, everyone in my family went out of that household knowing a lot about business, even though my mother never worked, because she ran that house like a boot camp, and she motivated each child, and she had the unusual ability to spot what she thought was a gift in each child and make it our own, call it out on us. You have a great imagination, she told me as a child. So when I was a dunce in school and very upset to be embarrassed in front of the other kids, that only was during the school day. When I got home, my mother said, don't worry about it. You have a wonderful imagination. With your imagination, you'll learn to fill in all the blanks. And she was right. You know, I was perfectly made for selling because I never had the answers. And what's selling at its best? It's standing on your feet, coming up with a quick solution. And so for me, even though I was very young when I was working, by the time I was 13, I didn't feel young anymore. I felt like I had jobs, managed people, uh, grumpy people, serve a hot dog to the nice guy, the mean guy, whatever. So it was a wonderful education having all those menial jobs coming up through the ranks. So by the time I started my real estate brokerage company, I was like the equivalent of a doctorate degree in real life. And I also had, thank God, the youthfulness not to be afraid to take a chance.